Hey, welcome back everybody to Give Me a Break. This is Mr. K of K Family Rips. And in this video, we are going to be opening up Sport Kings Volume 2 Blaster Box. This hit the shelves um, last week at our local retail stores. And I passed on it in both of the stores that I went to originally. And then upon returning... Um, Everything on the shelf was gone, baseball-wise and football and basketball-wise. But this was still there. there were, they still had a couple of them. So I grabbed one, and we can uh, open this up uh, together to see what's in it. Maybe you've seen other people open it uh, online. I'm not sure. But uh, this is Volume 2. I don't remember Volume 1 at all. But apparently that you can get uh, autographs and swatch inserts. There is a guaranteed uh, hit in each box. But there are five packs plus one bonus pack. Um, so we will see what we find in this box. There's a look at uh, the one side. There's a variety of sport cards in here, so you're not just going to get baseball and football. You're going to get uh, um, swimming. I think there's fencing, um, uh, boxing, just a bunch of bunch of stuff. So here's here's what the side of the box reads. It says this package contains five packs of Sport King Volume Two training cards plus one bonus pack. Um, the pack contains six base cards and one mini base card numbered 49 to 86. Each bonus pack contains two exclusive parallel base cards and one Sport Kings bonus card, which could be any of the following. An on-card autograph, Sport Kings or Legends memorabilia card, Jared Kelly art card, uh, Century Heroes cut signature with Gary uh, Kazeel, if I said that right, one of one sketch, other one of one sketch card, or a grand patch card. And it's numbered 49 to 86, so I don't know if volume one was numbered one through uh, 48. That is my guess. But let us see what we can find in this box. Hopefully we can find a named hit card but we will find out there's a look inside and they are clear packaged cards there we go we have five of those as it said and there is our bonus pack which probably is our hit and this is kind of light so maybe we have something in there other than a swatch so let's save that for last and let's open um, let's open these base packs if we can open them up they seem to be a little difficult to open up so I'm going to use the scissors and kind of just push those through like that and they got oh they got a different type of feel to them, kind of a old old style paper feel. Well, they are different type of old style stock. It's like Drew Brees, Jesse Burkett, Todd Pletcher, horse racing. He's a trainer. There's our mini, John Morrissey, boxer, boxing. Um, is he a prize fighter? There's Randall Cunningham. Eduardo Mangirati. There's our fencer. And Maurice Cheeks. NBA great for the 76ers. So that's our first pack. Hey, we got that one open. 
I like this first card on here. It looks like we actually have two hockey cards on this, this one. We got Dennis Potvin of the four-time Stanley Cup champion Islanders who made it to the Cup Finals five years in a row. Number five. One of my favorite players growing up, Tony Miola, goaltender for the U.S. There we go. Jerry Grote. Let me look at the back of there. There's another baseballer for us. There is our mini. Sarah Hughes, figure skating. Roger Staubach. For the Cowboys. Old Tom Morris. Let's look at the back of that one. Golf. He was born in what is known as the home of golf, St. Andrews. And our last card, St. Louis Blue, Bernie Federko. Another great player that I remember growing up. Nice. So those are two hockey guys. We have Vince Carter on the front of this pack. Ah, that one does not want to rip, so we'll... There's Vince. Chris Fromm. Bicyclist, Mike Smith, jockey. Looks like he's a downhill skier. I do not know. Is it uh, Ligeti? I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with that name. Ted Simmons, recent Hall of Famer. Oh boy, we got a horse card. Winks. And Daryl Waltrip. So we have a racing card that we're going to add to the mix. All right, Mike Richter is our third hockey player. Great goaltender for the New York Rangers. Let's take a look at the back for him. Nice. He's always a nemesis to the Islanders. Vashti Cunningham, track and field. Premier jumper. Mark Allen. Looks like he may be a triathlete based on... Yep, triathlon. There's Bernie Federko in mini style. Randy Johnson, Stephen Labou, Diver, and Ray Allen. Okay, last one, and then I'm anxious to get to see what we have in that uh, quote-unquote bonus pack. Now, these boxes were, I think, 1999. the normal price for a blaster box um, at Walmart. Okay, Emmett Smith. There's Sarah Hughes again. Lee Pruitt. Auto Racing. Sean Porter. Boxing. Curtis Martin. A little bit of a mark on there. John Morrissey. And Robin Yount is our last card out of the base packs. Hall of Famer there. Great player as well. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can find in here. Let's look at the back first. This pack contains two exclusive parallel base cards and one Sport Kings bonus card. So, let's see what we have here. 
what a base parallel is. Maybe it's a different color, possibly. Oh, there's Emmett Smith. It's blue. And I looked at the looked at the back. I'm kind of disappointed. No. There oh, actually there are two. Okay. I, I was I thought this was going to be a fencing person. Randy Johnson. So that's that's not bad. Single memorabilia. We'll take a look at the back. That's that's the last card that I saw. So I thought that was going to be the relic. The fencing dude on a relic wasn't uh, doing very much for me, but since it's a parallel, I can I can take that. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's worth the price of the box, but uh, let's look at the back. Congratulations, you have received Sport Kings Volume Number Two Memorabilia Card. This card features a swatch from a jersey worn by five-time Cy Young winner Randy Johnson in a professional baseball game. That's pretty neat. Sport Kings LLC guarantees the authenticity of the memorabilia embedded in this card. So pretty good. It would have been nice to get an autograph. If that would have been autographed with the swatch, that would have been super cool. But, nonetheless, that's a pretty good card. So you guys can decide if it's, uh, if it's worth the money or not. Uh, there's not many base cards, so you probably don't need to buy very many boxes if you're just looking to get the base, uh, base set. But uh, if you want to take the chance for um, an autograph or something, there is a Babe Ruth uh, autograph that can be found in, in these boxes. So I guess that's the Chase de la creme um, in terms of the hit so uh, I don't know I, I probably wouldn't buy another box if I ran across it unless I was really desperate to open something but you know not too bad you got a name player on a on a, on a swatch card there so um, pretty cool so let me know what you think leave some comments below if, if you like the uh, product if it's the first time that you've seen it if you've opened it yourself um, let me know what you think but I really appreciate you being with us today. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. And you can hit the bell and you will get a heads up when we post new material. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video. That would be uh, helpful to us as well. Um, so until next time, we will be at, at uh, right back at you with uh, another video. And uh, until then, you all take care.